Shema, a prayer of unity, a prayer of oneness. This week's Torah portion is Lech Lecha, a story that begins the story of the Jewish people. Abram, who becomes Abraham, Sarai, who becomes Sarah. They both receive an extra letter in their names over the course of the time from when we are introduced to them in this week's Torah portion into the next Torah portion. Abram becomes Avraham, Sarai becomes Sarah. And that hey is added to each of their names. And that hey, the rabbis teach, is the hey of creation. What is that hey? Well, in Hebrew, modern Hebrew, when you say ha before a noun, it's the definite article. So if I were to say sheer, it would mean song. If I were to say ha sheer, it would mean the song. If I were to say ava, love, then I would just be referring to love. But if I'm speaking to about aha ahava, then I'm speaking to the definite, particular expression of that love. Love is offered, is given in concentric circles. It's beautiful sentiment to say, I love all humankind. But the love of humankind only makes sense. We only learn about that love through particular love. Love of our partner, love of our children, or our parents, our friends. And each of these is a circle and another circle and another circle around it. And we, the Jewish people, in the last three weeks, we are finding ourselves having our love tested. And it is so awful for our love to have to be tested this way. But it is okay in these moments for us to recognize that there are concentric circles of our peoplehood and that first our rabbis teach we have to attend to ourselves and those closest to us and then the next circle our neighborhood our community our people and only once our family and our people is secure can we attend to the rest of the world. And this, I believe, is one of the ways in which we, the Jewish people, who are so comfortable in the whole world, are being pushed. And it's feeling incredibly uncomfortable. But I want you to know that it, for me, my priority first and foremost is the Jewish people. And then the rest of the circles of humanity. And so the oneness of Shema is a oneness that we still have to attend to in parts.